gonna enjoy your time at the botanical garden. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Basically, all the plants and things. You Family. can plant first, and all the plants basically stand. Family, there, you come on a tour with us. Make sure you bring a sweater and a jacket. More than that. A winter coat. Bring a winter coat yeah. and a power and a parachute. <laughs> Yes, family at the, the top of Table Mountain, and we just keep on ascending. <laughs> so, of all you adventurers, gear up and enjoy this one. This is incredible. As you see everybody, everybody, everybody just shivering a little bit, so please family, make sure we stay prepared and warm. I can't even joke, man, you got, your, you got the big sweater. Yes, I was ready. <laughs> you, already, you already know it was going to be. Yeah, I looked at the weather before. There you go. But it was actually voted. You know? Yeah. No, not a mountains of nature. Of nature. Of nature. Yeah. It's so, a um, I think it's the Iguaza Falls. Or the, uh, the Amazon peaks. as well. The Hulong right. Bay in Vietnam. Hulong Bay, yes, 100 percent So all of those form part of the seven wonders of nature. And then you get the seven wonders of the world as well. Right, so the seven yeah. one that would be the Taj Mahal, the pyramids, pyramids and so forth yeah. onwards. So yeah. most of those things are again man-made. Man-made, right. You understand? Yeah. But this is and nature Most of the seven wonders of nature is actually found within the southern hemisphere of the of the planet. Okay. If you if you actually took note on the map on the lower station where you boarded the cable car, mm -hmm. if you looked at that map, most of the seventh wonders is on the south side of the world, basically. Right? South America, South Africa, Australia. Yeah. <laughs> 100. <laughs> All places I've been to, family. Love it, man. So, Thanks normally, more. guys, this would be the best part of the tour right. because you would be able to see the entire right. city center over here. Oh, wow. Today, in this weather, it seems like it's the worst part of the tour because we're in the <laughs> open and it's quite time. chilly over here, right. okay? But normally what you can see over here, you would be able to see Robin Island, which would oh, be wow. on the right hand side of me, okay. okay? And that would be where Nelson Mandela spent about 17 to 18 years of his time in prison. Mm -hmm. He spent another few years by another two prisons within the Western Cape region as well. Okay, so if you're going to Robben Island, it's going to cost you about 360 Rand to cross over with the ferry. Takes about 45 minutes. And the person who gives you the tour on Robben Island actually used to be a prisoner on the island during the apartheid era. Okay, so when I done the tour for my guiding course, the person who gave me the tour was a gentleman that goes by the name of Sparks. And he actually spent about seven to nine years on, on Robben Island during apartheid. And this present day in time, from time to time, they actually live on the island as well. So it's a very nice gesture which they are making to show that us as South Africans are moving forward. Okay. Then another popular mountain which you would be able to see would be the Lion's Head Mountain or Signal Hill Mountain. Okay, and they say it's shaped like a lion. Unfortunately, you can't see it today. Okay, we saw it earlier. You saw it on, on at least. Yeah. You see the lion shape at least. Oh yeah, that's cool. So, okay, um, and also another reason they say that the last Cape Lion was actually chased to the top of Lion's Head and shot dead over there. Hence, that was the name of it, you know? And that was obviously during the time of the colonization within South Africa. So obviously people did not understand the African um, language, uh, the culture, if I could put it that way. And people didn't really know about lions and wild animals and things. So obviously if you did not know about something, it was not meant to be there during those times. Okay. And the nice thing about Cape Town, it's actually one of the oldest cities 
um, within South Africa, if not the oldest city, okay? And another thing which you find within the city center, it's the oldest building in all of South Africa, which is called the Castle of Good Hope, okay? So during the Indian spice trade, South Africa or Cape Town was the first refreshment station on the African continent for the Indian spice trade and all the ocean water which you would be able to see along the shore over here came up until the castle of Good Hope or the parade area. Okay, you guys probably been to the parade area where Nelson Mandela gave his first speech um, upon being released from prison. Okay, and that building was basically built in 1666 and it is still present to this day and time. And you can actually go on a tour of the Castle of Good Hope as well guys, okay? And last but not least, if you had to look that way, without the clouds being there, you would get another popular mountain by the name of Devil's Peak. Okay, and there's another Cape Town myth behind this mountain. It goes about there used to be a Dutch pirate who lived at the foot of the Devil's Peak Mountain with his wife and he enjoyed smoking tobacco pipes. His wife did not allow him to smoke it in the house, so he was forced to walk all the way to the top of Devil's Peak to smoke. Mm -hmm. And one day while smoking, a gentleman appeared to him with a hoodie all covered up and challenged him to a smoking contest. Okay, they eventually smoked for hours and days on end and Van Hunks, who was the pirate, actually won the devil in this competition, okay? And when he returned to the devil's peak to figure out who this gentleman was and to claim his prize, which was an endless supply of tobacco, this gentleman basically revealed himself to be the devil. And ever since then, the mountain peak below the clouds has been known as devil's peak. And whenever you see the tablecloth of the mountain which we are in now, we normally say Van Hunks and the devil is having a smoking competition. Oh, so the yes. smoking competition, it's quite hectic today guys, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's been very hot for the last few days. So I think smoking is Van Hunks and the devil's way of cooling off. Mm. You know? <laughs> and that would basically conclude our tour guys. Thank, Thank you for your you. time guys. Uh, if you want I can maybe snap a group picture of you guys here before you guys go. Can you skydive over there? Not skydiving, um, people normally go paragliding. Paragliding. Okay. Okay. Paragliding, so that's the one where you sit in the bag and with the parachute. Okay. So they are allowed to do the paragliding but only within certain areas on the mountain. No, they just, which guys are these? Oh no, those, those guys, I'm actually going to go have a look what they're doing over there after this. <laughs> See what they do. No, they, they... Yeah. What about those fly suits? They're workers, aren't they? No, they're not workers. Um, normally people base jump off the top of the mountain as well. Bungee jump? No, base jumping. Base, base, jump. base jumping, that so that's with the windsuit, 100%. Oh, oh. That's not actually allowed at the top of the mountain, uh, okay? Because that is much more fatal than okay. paragliding, okay. basically, yeah. okay? But they're still going to do it, though. Yeah, oh, that's what he's waiting. They got the cameras on Because by the head. time we get down there, they jump. In Rio de Janeiro <laughs> and Cape Town, family. <laughs> Like, they have these okay. incredible mountains yeah, and cable cool. cars. Because he got to get out there. But okay, normally people climb the mountain as well. Right. With ropes. Right. That's a lot yeah, to do we as saw well. Yeah, a guy with ropes. Okay. So yeah, they that's, normally, that's, that's, that's what that's, he was going to do. Yeah, I get. Cool. Well, he was already up top. Cool, they normally no. climb no, the face of the mountain they or the opposite they, we, side. We, we saw some, another guy they with some ropes. They, they ready to jump. They got the cameras on their head and everything. They ready to go. That is the stuff, man. This has been amazing. It's been amazing, for real. Would you guys like me to take a photo? Oh, yes, let's do it, family. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Everybody in the way. Let's do it. <laughs> Too cold for me. I'm trying to get... Yeah, they like, okay, <laughs> enough is enough. We finished. Yeah, I'm nice to have the balcony over here. I think we should do it right here. You can see the clouds.